that. Oh, hardly grab that. Good morning, all. Welcome to Paper and Moose. I am waiting for my water to get warm. Hot, hot. Going to make some hot tea because it is a state sale day. This is the first sale that I have been to this year, I think. It must be because I can't remember a good one that I went to in January or February because we are in March now. So yes, a state sale day, a one day sale, only a few hours, which usually means that they want to move stuff out. They advertise it as a digger sale, which pretty much means you can look through everything and anything. Um, looks like there's a decent amount of vintage. There are also Harley Davidson shirts listed while there's a tote and a garbage bag marked as Harley. We shall see. Uh, in the vintage tea world, those are what they call holy grails. Whether or not I'll get my hands on them, who knows, but I'm excited to dig to see what we can find, to see what treasures await at this home. So just gotta wait for my water to boil. What's that? A teapot? Watch teapot never boils? I don't know. It's early. <laughs> Join me for a state sale day. Let's see what treasures await us. There's so much stuff here. I mean, like Halloween. That's neat. I gotta put my bags down. I didn't even get upstairs yet. Like my bags are full. I don't know if this is garbage back here or what. Bag. 
That looks so cool. Buttons and scarves. What's this one? Mr. Peanut. We'll grab that. What's this one? Butter lady. We'll grab that. I'm running out of bags. Budweiser, grab that. Oh, Harley, grab that. This is the Florida one. Grab that. Oh, he's broken. Oh man, that's awesome. It's a light. What a shame. That's really cool. I'm going to look at it anyway, because just in case, you never know. Alright, so you see here, this Mr. Peanut in good condition is $179. excellent condition. Huh. Nightlight. One seventy nine, two twenty nine, hundred nineteen. So maybe mine. I could just sell it. I don't know how hard it would be to repair it. That was definitely a digger sale. I went straight to the basement. Well, first when they opened. They let us go into the garage area. So some people shopped, some people just headed straight for the door to wait. I looked in the garage because you never know what you're going to find. I was hoping, you know, maybe some paperwork, some paper, some interesting tins, but I came away with a few neat things. Now, I did not walk away with any Harley Davidson shirts, though I did find some other Harley items. There was a man there that got to the home at 5.30 in the morning and started a list. So he was on the mission to get the shirts. I think he got a few of them. Uh, there was another guy that bought some other ones. You know, I, I knew going in there, I wasn't going to get them. That's just a matter of fact, you know, unless I wanted to get there before 5.30 in the morning <laughs> to get them, but no thanks. So yeah, shopped in the garage first and then went in the house. I went straight to the basement. I wasn't going to fiddle faddle with upstairs Upstairs is where things were marked and priced, so I like to go where, where they're not because I think you get better deals and also you find some, some great things. And I think I found a few, a few really neat things today. Um, I paid $25 for everything that I bought. I'm going to show you some more of the interesting items um, and some items that you perhaps seen, you know, saw me look at in the video. I did buy them, I'm just not showing them. If I were to show everything, it would be like a 20 minute recap and I can just imagine uh, complaints about that. <laughs> but yeah, digger of a sale, a lot of fun, digging through boxes, bags, going under tables, totes. These people had a lot of stuff. But what was shocking, shocking, is that I didn't see any vintage holiday, none. No vintage Christmas, vintage Halloween, nothing. And that I thought was a little bit odd considering the age of the items in the home. Uh, there were some Halloween costumes, which I think I bought some pieces of, but you know, nothing crazy vintage. Canned food, sewing, uh, lots of bags of trash too. So when I'm at that sale, I will dig through those bags. I will dig in the corner. I will dig under things because I like to dig and you never know what you'll find. So what did I come away with? Well, let's see. Um, we're going to talk Harley. The Harley items that I did find, I found a bag in the basement with all vintage towels and I went through and I took the best ones. I think there was a Mr. Peanut, some like butter towel. I think I have that here. So that was fun. And amongst those towels, we have the Harley Davidson motorcycle, you know, beach towel. This is in really great shape. I don't know if you could see it. I don't think there's a tag. Oh, there is. 
Cannon, New York. Um, I think, you know, between this towel and the Harley hand towel that I found, I will have paid for everything that I got at the sale. This is a really great shape, not a lot of stains at all. So again, I found that whole bag in the, in a pile in the back of the basement. That, I did pick up this shirt. It is Alder Sneakers. It's an extra large. It's University Medevac When Minutes Matter, uh, Lehigh Valley Hospital. It does need to be cleaned, but I liked, I like this. I like the ringer style shirts. I think they add, you know, a pop and a touch of color. Got that. I found these. So there was a tote that had a mixture of clothes and I think some Halloween costumes. And I was enjoying going through there. We found these shorts. They say no all over them. And they're actually made by Wrangler. They have a Wrangler tag. So these could be pretty good too. Um, most of the clothes I will probably just take straight to the flea market because there is a nice... Um, vintage clothing market there and I can do an easy turnaround because I have learned even though I tell myself don't buy clothes because you won't measure them I'm like well maybe I will no I'm, I'm not I do not like buying clothes to resell online unless it's some you know crazy shirt that I might get a hundred bucks for I don't want to deal with it I don't want to deal with measuring pit to pit chest length noting all the stains and the marks I'm, I'm just not a fan of it but, you know, if these shorts online, you know, if these are going to ring $50, $60, I will gladly sell these online because at the flea market, they might offer me 10 bucks. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to fit them. <laughs> um, to keep going with the clothing theme, again, in that tote. So this is suede, I believe. Yeah, you, oh, you suede brush only. So I think this may have went with their Native American garb. There were moccasins in there that I grabbed. Um, and some other items. This will go straight to the flea market. I found these, which I loved. This belt is cool in of itself. It's definitely older. So these are striped pants. They remind me of like the railroad pants. You have your little tie for your hammer. And these are by Big Smith. So this is another brand that I will just look up online again. I've never heard of it. I don't know what the market is, but we shall see. These are pretty cool. I don't know if I could fit them. <laughs> um, I did buy this. It came with pants too. It's a type, I don't want to say kimono, but it's very pretty. It has lovely stitching of a dragon on there. And again, nice shape. Those are all the clasps. For the basement, there weren't there were some things that looked like they had water damage, but for the most part, everything was, was still in pretty pretty decent shape. We got that. Oh, here's the Harley like golf towel. This was out in the garage. I did see one that recently sold on eBay for fifteen dollars. So just clean this baby up, and you'll be good. See, I was hoping to find little things like this out in the garage, maybe some Harley stickers, you know, anything. We'll keep going with the clothing here. These, I don't know. I'm guessing they're probably for riding. I didn't see a mark, uh, you know, a, a brand on them. I don't think they're motorcycle pants. <laughs> so these will go to the flea market as well. Here's another one of the towels. This is fun. It's uh, Mary Jane candy. Hopefully it'll see it. <laughs> so you pick that up. And that is a Joe Franco towel. Or So Franco. Joe Franco or So Franco. Franco. <laughs> so I love these vintage towels. They're a lot of fun. Also makes finding your place at the beach a little bit easier. Because how many people are going to have this towel? I did buy, I think I ended up two pairs of the um, saddle shoes. Some sh saddle shoes can be great sellers online. It just depends on the condition and the size. I wonder if I could fit these. 
they're not moving anywhere. Um, these are Fars brand, so I'll have to look them up, but I bought two pairs of those. Some little guys, uh, we have Raggedy Andy. This is a Knickerbocker. I did not find Raggedy Ann in that. There was a bag of stuffed animals, so I picked him out. And then I picked this cute guy, Smokey Bear, the official Smokey Bear issued by, licensed by the US Forest Service. And this is also a Knickerbocker. His one little ear has some damage, but isn't he adorable? So he'll be another one to look up. I haven't looked up anything yet because I wanted to get the recap done and then look up stuff and get inside and get warm. But he was really cute. Then I think maybe my favorite find because I just love the look of it <laughs> were these sponges. Capital dome shaped sponge. It's capital for he man job. So these were out in the garage in one of the cabinets. They're still on the wrapper. You, know, you can't use the sponge, but it's just fun. This will look good on the shirt, as I like to say. What these are worth, I have no clue. I bought it because I really enjoyed the wrapper. And you know, what did, what did these cost me? A couple cents. So I enjoy these, you know, vintage advertising, vintage um, new old stock products. They're, they're great to put on display. I just, it's just neat. That's why I bought it. So maybe I need to stop buying things just because I think they're neat, but it is, you know. You know, maybe I'll throw one of these up online or I think these would also do well at the flea market just because of the look of them. So yeah, $25, I got two bags of stuff and I think I did really well. I just love these kind of sales. I love, love digging. I love just finding a corner and being in my own world and digging. I need to remember my headlamp though. I should have bought the one that Larry got me. Why didn't I do that? I didn't, I don't know, why? Why Renee, why? I need to make myself a checklist and before I leave, have it up on my refrigerator before I leave, go through and make sure. Headlamp is one of them because that would have made things a lot easier. I'm not even sure how this footage turned out. <laughs> Hopefully I got some. <laughs> we shall see so thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed going and i hope i'm hopeful that there will be plenty more digger estate sales in the future so thanks for watching hope you have a great day and if you are out to your local estate sales good luck and may you find your treasure i'll see you all next time mm -hmm.